All right, in today's episode, we're going to be remixing and explaining some of my top viewed and just my favorite videos. This one got 5 million views on YouTube and across other platforms, I think it did even better. But the funny thing about it was about a week after doing this video, the customer's brother commented on my Instagram post and said, hey, I've been following you for a while now and you just worked at my sister's house. And that's why I always keep professional, dot my T's, cross my eyes. This next part I threw in just to get people a little riled up. I was soldering on top of the customer's toilet, which is obviously a huge no-no, but in this case, we replaced it 20 minutes later with a Toto Drake best flushing toilet on the market. Other top performing comments from this video were about how I should have opened up the wall behind this, and it's actually a tiled-in shower right behind this, so it's not really a viable option. And you still got the three handle shower, so going to the single handle, you still need that repair plate. So, other people were talking about how I didn't caulk the plate, and so it was gonna leak. Um, I just didn't film myself caulking the plate. So, this video got about 600,000 likes on TikTok, and I think the main reason was because I cut that valve in half, which is just a trick that I learned from that fix it guy. He's one of my friends here on social media, and uh, you can obviously pull off those white plastic stops, but this is a better way to relieve putting any stress on that stub out, whether it's PEX, copper, CPVC. The reason I threw this video in here is just because I like it. The flange is already at the right height. It's just a good install video. We've got the extra thick bolts, a little cockroach there on the ground. This was being used as a model home and then the customer bought it and he just didn't really like the toilet so he wanted them all changed out since he wasn't able to pick his fixtures. And so that's why this install was pretty easy. I'm not dealing with a lot of old stuff and just looks really clean. Unfortunately, he did go with the Glacier Bay toilet. It's just not something that I would have put in my house, but he saw that it was one piece and that's all he was looking for is a nice one piece toilet, easy to clean. We're gonna throw on the supply line and call it a day. Coming up next, we got a hose bib that's got the threads buried inside the stucco. So whatever it's threaded onto, I wasn't able to put a wrench on and I wasn't sure if I was gonna break it. So I just went ahead and changed out the stem with a brand new Arrowhead brass stem. And people didn't really like that, but I did. And my customer was very happy. So moving on to this pull and reset. This one went viral on TikTok. And I think it's because of those bugs I was smushing there at the beginning, but also just a good toilet video. We got a cast iron flange, but it's in pretty good condition. I'm gonna replace the bolts. I don't know why those are extra long but it's probably all that I had with me. We've got some hollow core nut drivers. I use those quite frequently, an extra thick wax ring just to be safe, you know. Belt and suspenders, people. And you know we gotta cut the threads with a bolt cutter just to get people all riled up. Coming up next, we got a recent video that got seven million views on YouTube. This was just a good video. I liked the way that I filmed it and was able to edit it down. We got a landscaper out here to dig this up for us before replacing this pressure regulator. And uh, I measured all my press fittings out, had all the right fittings, but they wouldn't fit in the space required. So we went ahead and soldered it, which was uh, great for the comment section. A lot of people told me that I forgot to put the realtor's lockbox back on the pipe when I was soldering it, but uh, the home was not for sale, nor was it planning to be. So the customer just told me to go ahead and remove that lockbox since he had been wanting to for a while. These aren't my best solder joints. I had gotten a little rusty after getting accepted into the Viega press masters program but i'm also showing my apprentice how to do things and from time to time you need to solder it's just a part of the trade and so we went over it and uh, we finished it off with an upright garden bib at the customer's request we backfilled and put some pea gravel there for the customer in the next episode we've got a couple of pro presses running at once uh, we basically just did this to see if we could get the old timers all riled up they didn't really seem to care that much but the new school people thought it was awesome that we got a couple pro presses running at the same time get the job done even quicker in this one we've got a low toilet flange i'm going to put a spacer on it and i'm going to silicone it down to the existing flange i just need to raise that flange up a quarter of an inch and i know Odie has a kit to do this as well but this was before they started sending me those kits so now i use the set right and it actually installs a little bit easier and cleaner but uh, back then this is what we were doing I started buying these little tubes of silicone, which works out really well because your tubes don't dry up. We're going to put down the spacer and then we put down washers and nuts. I always like to double bolt my toilet bolts just so they don't move when I go to set the toilet. We're going to put some stainless steel screws down through the subfloor and the existing flange. And then we're going to use an extra thick wax ring to set this toilet. I must have posted at least four or five of these videos that did really well altogether. People love seeing toilet repairs and telling you how you messed it up. So. 
I actually have an online review somewhere where somebody called me the toilet master. So that's not a joke, people. That's organic reviews there. People know what's up. For my grand finale, this video got 77 million views on YouTube, 1 million likes, and I received 116,000 subscribers from this video alone. And uh, the reason why, I don't really know. When I was soldering, I shoved this blue rag inside the pipe to stop the water. That way I could do this first joint. Most people were talking about how I should have used just a jet sweat or a pro press. Uh, the pro press, it's right up against the brick, so I didn't really want to make a permanent connection there. And then for the jet sweat, it was a uh, Friday at 3 o'clock, so I'm not making any store runs. I'm just going to get it done. So we got the blue rag in there. It broke apart a little bit, but we got every piece out, so no worries there. And now we're just going to finish up the rest of the solder joints. If you found my account through this video, I really appreciate you sticking with me as a subscriber, watching all my videos. Please drop a like or a comment. Thank you for watching. As always, see you next time.